Hi everyone and welcome in to a another Euro Truck 2 Sorry Euro Truck Simulator 2 but with mods like I did last time so this is like the third one I've done the first one was the Ford Focus like one of the newest models like a 2018 19 something like that and then I did the uh, man truck was it called man truck from like 1987 truck and then now I'm going to do something a bit more even older a car this time a Renault 12 or 15 I'm not too sure but I've got it here and you can get it from oh no you can just go to mod dealer there we go oh it is a Renault 12 we're not 12, 12 standard. And it's kind of messed up logo fonts here. Before we purchase this, hope I've got any hope I've got some room in a garage somewhere. No, I've not got one there. Oh, I've got one here, Turkey, Istanbul. We'll store you there. Thank you for your purchase. You're welcome. Where are you? There you are, right at the bottom. Look at look at horsepower compared to other stuff. We've got like average in three twenty man trucks. Oh, they say five hundred and all that, and then come down here, seventy two horsepower. I've just realised I've just done a dopey thing though. I've bought the truck without customising it. That's clever. Well. Are you sure you want to resign? Yeah. I can't believe that. I just realised you can customise like a truck or a car and then buy it. I just bought the thing just boom. Oh well. Have a quick look at it then while I wait for it to load in. So I've not played it for a while because I've been doing them driver series. There we go. Wow, look at this. Someone's put their buy dot mods number plate. Oh, I like the red trim on the seats. I think pretty cool. Is that the light? Are they speakers at the back? Are that four speakers? Yeah, I love that. I just love, I just love old cars. It's just simplicity. Gear knob, very thin handbrake, no radio, steering wheel assist, and the horn. Meter. Door handle, and there you go. Right, let's look outside. Oh, look at this, it's cute, and oh, okay. With no grill, apparently, it's just floating, you can see the Renault badge is just floating, you can see, me, to be fair, at least they've done an engine inside it. Let's turn it on. There we go, you can hear that. Okay, as all old Renault cars from the mid-70s, they have the beepers. Before it looks quite cute. Well, minus there's no grill or lights. No, let's see if lights work. I've just put wiper blades on. That's clever. Hang on. The lights. Oh, hang on. Yeah, they do actually work. Duh. 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 So that's high. Yeah. Let's just go in and just turn that off. Right. So lights on, off. There you go. Are they full beams? No, they're full beams. Right, well, what we'll do is only in Manchester. You know, I'm going to start it. Oh, well, it's to Manchester. Anyway, I've got a plan anyway of a route I'm doing, so where I am, I'm going to set somewhere else, so we'll do that later. But first of all, while we're here then in Manchester, there's a Scania truck dealer place literally down the road, so I can take it there and you know, customise it. I'm going to say Scania thing. Yeah, I should be able to. Right. It goes quite a nipper. Let's go this way. Oh, turn. Yeah, steering's not the best. It feels like you see actually are steering a truck. It's not. I don't feel there's a bit of a delay on the steering. The thing is, oh, one minute, I'm going to take my time like driving, so I'm not going to completely wreck it. Like, just go mad. So, indicators make it decent. Frame rate keeps freezing, that's nice. 
There's also this new update, this 1.37. The frame rate keeps bloody dropping a lot. I don't know why, it's powerful enough to play it. Right, truck configurations. Yeah, I can do it here. Right. Can we put a buddy grill on here? Because that just doesn't look nice. No, standard. What's this one? We can have it really low down. Or standard, I'm definitely have it standard. Engines. They, oh, is it sounds? Well, that sounds like a truck. So I don't know, we'll, we'll try this one. Nothing much can do. Oh, interior. I can do interior. Okay, okay. Let's have a look. Was oh, it just a steering wheel? It's just a steering wheel. It's all it is, just a steering wheel. Well, that just looks miles out of place with the interior. Kind of blends in, but I do just like this one. Just a simple steering wheel like it came with. Colors. Oh, please. Nope. Okay. <laughs> just made it dirty. Pilot. Okay. Um, I've got something. So we've got brilliant silver. They can do customization. But on the. Um, the we call it the like I said, the little promo clip. He was like he's in like a um, uh, what call can I change this? I just metallic, so it doesn't look really natural. He's like um, a a brownie red. So I did he red on here like a brownie red? Is it something like that? It was not completely brown. I just noticed. Can you see that? The stream is actually sticking out the window. Ooh. Yeah, the car looked more like this. So I'm gonna keep it as natural as it is because it kind of suits the 70s, like a boring. You saw what was he's like, boring beige and orange brown and all that. I just loved it. Excessive. Oh, hang on. This might do something. Renault 12. There we go, we've got a grill. Um, there we go. I quite like that chrome on me, to be fair. Let's go to this. Hey, bumpers, there we go. Now it's looking like, an, like a proper car now. Black bumpers. I think the one on the picture it showed, it was like that. And I, I do prefer that, the old chrome bumpers. Getting like a little skirt on there with the chrome. And they got black. I do like that, but it looks more like it's a car mid eight. It's turning into like an 80s car, and to be honest, I like that. Let's see the bottom one. Um, Something blue LED. Oh, is this for the cop car then? Yeah, well, we don't have a cop car. Let's have a look at this. Uh, it's added something. Oh, hang on, is it the, oh, it's the back of it, okay. Not underneath. Um, I, oh, it's a, it's a skirt, I get you, it's black. Um, do I want a skirt? Ah, why not? <laughs> okay, we'll stick with that. I don't mind the colour for it, because it looks like it's accurate for the time. Don't have it like bloody blue or bright blue or, you know, Ferrari red, it just, I don't know, this just looks kind of well as it is. Um, interior view. Oh my god, weekend travel bag. Oh my god, look at this. Travel bags. Electric cool box, even though it's glitching into the, fine. Seat. Ah, oh, now that looks more realistic. I can put a bag on the... I'm not... I can have a laptop in here. That's safe while driving, isn't it? <laughs> Shall I travel? Well, we'll put a travel bag in. It matches the seats, kind of, doesn't it? Yeah, right. So, I'll have a quick guided tour around the back. Yeah, it looks a lot more better. Definitely a lot more better. But you're saying just like an old diesel, this. You know, it's only, what, 
70 horsepower worse. But, yeah, I'm going to change the engine though, put engine 1. To have the horn. Let's see the lights work. Yeah, there we go. What I'm planning to do is... Go to Italy. Because I think I've got a garage around here. And then I'm going to go and go south of France somewhere like I have a Nice or... I'm go Montpellier. Montpellier. Yeah, I don't want to pronounce it. Let's do this. We're going on a car cruise. Got everything ready. Got my bags packed. And we're off. It's like any other car like that. Um, the Ford Fusion. As soon as I go, the car's like, we're off. Yeah, it just kills the illusion that you're in a bloody car. You can see a big, a big truck engine. Cute little dinky thing in it, even though it kind of looks like it's hovering off the ground a bit, doesn't it? Like a few mil off. Sorry, the key, camera keeps split, like juttering like this. I don't know, I think since this update, it's just messing my frame rate up with this. Well, it's, it's just doing 17, put my foot down. Right, let's go over here. 78. 81. I'm just going to put forward to see how fast I can go about crashing. Mob. Until I crash. Yeah, my frame rate's dropping for some reason. I'm doing 87. I don't think that should be possible for a car, like I say, like 70 or 70 brake horsepower. 90. Yeah, this is not realistic at all. <laughs> right, put the cruise control on. Those old cars had in the 70s. <laughs> like when the Focus was driving that, it kind of felt like a car. It felt a lot better, a bit more sensitive. This, it does kind of feel sensitive, but it has like a weird slight delay at turning. Touch the steering gently, it doesn't steer as much, if you put too much pressure, then it won't shoot off. It's very weird. God, that sun's bright. Wow. Is that a new update? Blind you. But then brakes are really... Let me just try it. Hang on. I'm going to brake now. Boom. I did like I nearly did, nearly did fifty and the car stopped pretty good and nah. Especially seventies, they're all brakes, so they they're not as like normal like normal disc brakes. Not as powerful. Usually if you slap old disc brakes on the lap from seventies, there's more like a chance the the brakes will just lock and you'll be skidding, you'll be sliding. I do like driving around Italy in the game. Italy and France are just more picturesque and they're just really nice European places. I'm just going to try something while I'm waiting. Try again to sort this out. My friend told me I was, I was on this default and if I put it on to 60 it should work, and it did to be honest, it did actually it run better, it won't drop in the frame. I was getting that, that stutter freeze, but I wasn't getting that stupid slowdown, so if I do that, yeah, and I'll put it, I'll do it again, you'll put it back on again, and apply or something, and just see, just stop it for now. I've never had this problem since this update, this um, 137, I've never had a problem, if it carries on, I've just uninstall and just go back to 36 and just leave it at that because it's a powerful computer cost like 800 quid and it's a geforce gtx 1050 so it, it, it can run and i mean it's not going to run on max settings it's so it will run the game it is dropping a bit of noise bars as before but anyway let's i'm just going to ignore that and just carry on because we're mainly reviewing the car we're not reviewing the me computer. Yeah, I definitely do like the simplicity of this, just you know, gear stick, handbrake, no radio, 
There's your, there's your dials. There's this, there's that. There's your white lights. Your wipers. Hope it rains at some point to see if they actually work. Because sometimes they do work and some are just like a prosthetic thing. Like, oh, they work, but they don't wipe your windows. I got only 48, and that seems reasonable. Oh, is that a Lamborghini in front? A green Lamborghini? Well, come on then. If this car could do 90, let's see if we can keep up with a Lamborghini. I know I said I was gonna. Ah, well, there's my petrol station. Let's walk away from him. Because he just crashed. He just crashed into Merce um, Mercedes. He just crashed into a Mondale. Wow, he's really going down. Go on, let's see if we can keep up with you. An embarrassing overtake. <laughs> Keeping over here. But these speed limits, we had no rules, it would be just long gone by now. Eighty one. Is he breaking? He's breaking speed limit. I'm doing 85 trying to catch up with him. Is he not going to overtake? There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to stalk him. <laughs> well, not too much. Because, like I said, I'm going to be following sat nav here. <laughs> okay, do you want to leave? See ya. Do you want to go see how fast got? 95. It does not look realistic. So we've got 96. It's just like a, a default Scania truck engine in this. Well, I did 96 and they've gone down to 95. So we're going down a slight verge. Come 94 now. Computer doesn't like it, he's stuttering. Doesn't like the speed in his car. Don't break! Okay, my brakes are bloody good then. I was like from like 80 something to like 56 then. I'm gonna just slap on him and see how far quick and stop. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. About three seconds, three and a half seconds from about do 90. To stop dead. Alright, 94. Can I get 95 again? I know it's a rare tree, but can I get it? No, 93. No, I'm losing that momentum again. Well, because I've been putting my foot down, my fuel tank's pretty low. I'm not surprised, I'm just flooring it everywhere. Oh, two lanes. Yeah, really be careful. Hello. I'll tell you what, though. The Italian police, they have some beautiful police cars. They have Lamborghinis, Alfa Romeo, really looking nice. I said, like, wow, would you have a police on the Like, you want to catch some moron like me in a car like this and you're trying to stop me? You don't want to use it because if you want to do a pit maneuver, you're going to really use a Lamborghini to pit someone or shunt them to stall the, the car. So, I don't want to repair a Lamborghini. It's not like it's a normal, like, Vauxhall police car or a Peugeot police car, you know. <laughs> just reminds me how, just thinking about it, because of this car and stuff. It kind of reminds me of the film European Vacation 2. Joey with uh, Chubby Chase and. Um, oh, is his wife on oh, no, it? Her name's like. Is it like something D'Angelo? Is it? I can't really remember. Because all the husband's called Rusty and the wife is. Oh, God, what's the wife's name? I know, like I, I said the last name was like D something, D'Angelo. But anyway, yeah, you might as well, because I think they do it to like, travel across Europe. Um, because I'm just thinking of that song like God, we're dancing across the USA. But that's the actual the end song for um, the first European vacation, and that is definitely a lot funnier than the second one. Because second one's just I'm gonna stop just because that barrier didn't go up fully. Yeah, the second one's not that good, but they, they still keep the music from the first film. Because I've only that holiday, 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 holiday
holiday run. Oh, I like that and that. Dancing across the USA. Well, that's sort of the um, first one. Yeah, it comes around to that. I mean, it does have its moments. Especially with Eric Arnold, that's funny. Keep like knocking him over off his bike and he's like, because he's British, you're like, no, don't worry about it, it's fine. It's just a scratch, me, like, like blood pouring out. He's like, yeah, we're fine, yeah. But yeah, the, the first European vacation is, is definitely funnier, the, funnier than the second one. Just realise it's not Chubby Chase, it's Chevy Chase. I'm calling it. I'm calling him Chubby Chase. It's, it's Chevy. Chevy Chase, but I just said Chubby Chase. It's just in the accent. He wasn't that far. I think he is now. He's older age, but back then he wasn't that. I think he was actually quite slim, to be fair. And if someone asked me in the comment section if I'm right, but the, the girl who plays Rusty's wife, that D'Angelo, what her name is. I can't remember her name off the bloody show. Like the, the character's name. But is she the one who plays the mum? Off the um, the film American History X. Um, what's his name now? The main character. Well, one of them he has a younger brother. He's the one who's off Terminator 2, the young kid. Uh, Sarah Connor's kid. And then. The guy, the main one, the grown up. Oh, I can't remember his name, but he's, on, he's in Fight Club Winter. It's bugging me now. I can't. But anyway, that film, is that the mum? He plays the mum on the American History X. I don't know if it is, because I think it is, I'm not sure. If you've not seen that, that's another film you should watch. If you're easily offended, yeah, you have to be careful, because it's like. It's basically like the main characters are neo Nazis and these like white supremacists. And I won't spot the end because you know I don't want to spoil the end and stuff, but it's a really good film. But you have to stomach a lot of racism stuff from both ends, like blacks and whites and that, but it's a really it is a really good film. If you're not seeing it. But it's not for light hearted, but it's a it is a good film. Very powerful. But after you watch the film, I'll, I'll try not spoil it, but when I, at the end of it, the only way I can sum up the, the film is like, basically, all this racism is just BS. That's what I'll just say about it when you watch it. I found out long ago, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Well. Definitely a truck noise, that. I've just realised again about that American vacation. Chubby Chase, Chevy Chase, his character is not called Rusty. Rusty's the son. His name's Clive, that's it. Where the hell am I getting Rusty from? I don't know, I watched the film about two weeks ago. I've not got that bad buddy. Amnesia, that. Yeah, it's Clive, isn't it? No, Clark! Not Clive, Clark. It was Clark. It's Clark. The wife, I can't remember. Got a daughter and a son. The son's rusty. Can't remember the daughter. Nah. But it's Clark, not rusty. Rusty's the, um. The, uh, the son. And the second one, I can't stand stand them. It's just annoying, horny little teenager. It gets on my nerves. And then that shot, he keeps pulling hot girls. I'm like how? I mean, I mean, type, but he's ginger. He's got freckles. And you know, I should pull some hot European girls. So, fair enough. <laughs> What's that American accent? Just do it. As well, the daughter's just as annoying though, because he's just on the show. She's broody. Not, well, she's just pretty for a boyfriend, even though she he's been cheating on her, but he loves him. And that's all again the show saying, I miss my boyfriend, you know, he just treats her like shit, basically. I'm going to show up about that film now. Well, I just want to address it's Clark, not Ruster. Squeeze in. I'm doing it. Whoa, look at these driving skills. Oh, oh. 
transporter for. Actually, in the first transporter film, Jason says, he ends up driving like a knackered old Renault. I think it's like a clock, Renault Clay or. Ooh, can I have a armor bothering? Yeah. Is it only like the. the chase after an aeroplane? Oh, he's going to an aeroplane. And he's like bombing it in this whole bloody. Renault ends up like conking it out. That's another film I recommend you watch in Transporter series on because they're not the best, but they're just stupid over the top and I like them. It's a bloody movie review list now they're turning to, but that's it because I went along gun driving for ages, I've been driving like over an hour. You know, it's just I just want to rabble on. <laughs> Should make a podcast of this while just doing your truck driving just marvel general nonsense. Go on, Citroen. Bloody hell, I'm really pumped in there. So, it's been a long time, I might just got an East instead. It's a shame though, I've had no rain yet. I'll just try the wipers. I'm saying that there's some, some grey clouds up there, so, you know. Hopefully, in the last 10 seconds, it'll rain, and then we can test them. A football stadium, what? Don't know. Could be. Because I had that Euros not a couple of, well, a couple of years ago. So that's in my new stadiums. I don't know. Oops, slow down. There we go. Hey guys. What I left. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Renault 12. Um, nice little 70s car looking at it like it's well detailed but at the start I thought it was a dodgy um, glitch or not too much detail because the front grille and lights were just gone, there was just nothing there, all I could just see was the engine inside but once you start going getting the, the pros and con all the mods and sods you know and tart it up it looks more like a classic old car yeah interior inside and out looks nice, wish we get rid of that but I think it's just Sponsor the guy who's done it. And then you can just have a bag, nice seats, big four speakers in the back. Yeah, I like it inside, just like a proper old school car from the 70s. Really basic. Car at the end of the day is a car just get you from A to B. All your lights and all that. Inside and out, it's nice. Yeah. Handling, I get used to it, feels weird. It feels like you're still driving a truck. Sounds like a truck, sounds like a diesel, and it's just a little car. I presume it was just a little um, petrol car at the time. But, but yeah, all in all, it's alright. Now I'm rambling on. Chubby Chase, Ginger Kids, European Vacation, and Lamborghinis, police cars, fancy cars, and all that cars, cars. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'm going to go to bed. Take care. I'll just bang the arm then. <laughs> Night guys. Bye bye.